Today, Manchester City in the Premier League does not exist. For 10 full seasons, the Premier League will exist without Manchester City, and we're going to see who's going to win the most Premier League titles, Carabao Cups, FA Cups, without Man City being around. All the players for Man City have been put into free agency, and Manchester City now plays in League 2, the fourth division of England. It will be an all-out war between clubs to sign some of Man City's free agents in hopes of winning some trophies. So this is the Premier League table before the season even begins, season one, and you can see that Leicester City is there instead of Manchester City. Now, why Leicester? Well, because I think they deserve to be there and they're probably going to get promoted and be up in the Premier League next season. So let's go to the end of season one and see who's going to win some trophies. Who's going to win the Prem, the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup? And we're going to count all the winners. Who is going to come out on top without Manchester City being in the picture? The first Premier League season without Manchester City has come to an end and oh my, it was Chelsea that won the Premier League. Trophy for Chelsea. Put that on the board. One Premier League title for Chelsea. I mean, I don't know if that's realistic, to be honest with you. They, right now, they can barely score any goals. While the Carabao Cup was won by Manchester United, Eric Ten Hag and Manchester United bring a trophy to Manchester. <laughs> yes, Manchester is red all of a sudden because Man City plays in League Two. So a Carabao Cup trophy for Man United. While the FA Cup was won by Newcastle on penalties over Arsenal. Arsenal went to two finals. They went to the Carabao Cup finals and to the FA Cup finals, and they managed to lose both. Newcastle United, FA Cup champions, one FA Cup trophy on the board for Newcastle. And we'll also check in on the Champions League. It was Bayern Munich that were Champions League winners with Harry Kane. Harry Kane is lifting a trophy, guys. Harry Kane. Season 2 is about to begin, and Manchester City did not get promoted out of League 2. They stayed in League 2 after the first season. We're gonna keep an eye on Manchester City as well. The second Premier League season without Manchester City has come to an end, and Liverpool gets their Premier Premier League title. They come first, just outlasting Man United and Chelsea and Arsenal. Look how close it was. Man United was tied with Liverpool on points, and Chelsea was only one point back, but that is a Premier League title for Liverpool. And the Carabao Cup was won by Manchester United again. That is two Carabao Cups in a row, and again they faced Arsenal. Arsenal have lost the Carabao Cup two years in a row, while Manchester United has two Carabao Cup trophies. And Liverpool did the double as well by winning the FA Cup. They won the FA Cup Cup over West Ham 2-1. to one. So a Premier League title for Liverpool and an FA Cup trophy as well. And the Champions League again was won by a German side, but it wasn't Bayern Munich this time. It was Borussia Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund, the Champions League winners, lads. A trophy for Borussia. But there is danger on the horizon, lads, because Man City absolutely annihilated League 2 in their second season. All they had is the free agents. That's it. I replaced their players with free agent players, like the lowest free agent players and they still won. They still somehow won. Maybe it's because they have the money to back the team. But Man City is not going to be playing in League 2 in Season 3. They're going to be playing in League 1. Season number 3 in the Premier League without Man City is over and Liverpool won it again. Twice in a row now. They only lost one match, lads. On 93 points, Chelsea in 2nd, Newcastle in 3rd, Man United all the way down in 5th. That is two Premier League titles for Liverpool. And finally, the Carabao Cup had a different winner, but it was the same finalists. It was for the third year in a row Arsenal versus Manchester United and I guess third time's the charm Arsenal finally beat Man United in the Carabao Cup so that is a Carabao Cup trophy for Arsenal and the FA Cup was won by Liverpool again two years in a row just like the Premier League over Aston Villa Liverpool two Premier League titles two FA Cup titles as well but the Champions League was won by Manchester United Man United are Champions League winners over Dortmund three years in a row there was a German team in the Champions League. Bayern won at year number one, Dortmund won at year number two, and they were finalists in year number three, but Manchester United came out on top, so one Champions League trophy for Man U. And Manchester City just keeps on rolling, lads. Danger is approaching, and it is approaching very fast. Now, they finished in a playoff spot in League One. Did they make it out of the playoffs and get promoted to the championship? Yes, they did, lads. It is the start of season number four, and Manchester City are in the championships. Oh my gosh. Red flags are going off everywhere. Man City is making a miraculous comeback. This is insane. So let's go to the end of season four and see all the winners. And also we're going to see if Man City can come back to the Premier League. Season four has come to an end, lads. And Manchester United, man, they've been the most consistent team. They won a trophy every single season. They won the Carabao Cup two years in a row. Then they won the Champions League. And now they won the Premier League. Man United are Premier League champs, but Nottingham 
Nottingham Forest is second. Aston Villa is in third. Where is Arsenal? Arsenal is all the way down in ninth. Spurs are in 13th. Oh my god. Bristol City can't came up. That's that's quite nice. <laughs> that's unexpected. Man United are Premier League champions, lads. While the Carabao Cup was won by Liverpool over Manchester United. Man United couldn't do the double with the Carabao Cup. But also, Liverpool has kind of been on a roll as well. They didn't win the Premier League, but they won the Carabao Cup. So that is one Carabao Cup for Liverpool as well. And the FA Cup was won by Aston Villa. Come on, Villa. Let's go. 1-0 over Chelsea. Aston Villa gets some silverware. But the Champions League was won by a Spanish giant. Yeah, it was Barcelona. Barca is back. They won the Champions League over AC Milan. One Champions League trophy for Barcelona without Manchester City existing. But how did Manchester City do in the championship? Well, they didn't make it out, They but they finished ninth. <laughs> On 71 points, they were this close to the playoffs, guys. They missed the playoffs by two points. I think Man City's gonna come back to the Premier League. Let's go to season five and see what happens. The fifth season without Manchester City in the Premier League has come to an end, and it was Arsenal. Arsenal, they win the Prem. <laughs> the Carabao Cup in season five was taken by Manchester United, who just keeps on piling up trophies. And it was against Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace made it all the way to the final of the Carabao Cup, but that is another Carabao Cup on the board for Man United. And Man United did the double. They won the FA Cup as well over Leicester. Yes, 3-1 over Leicester. They couldn't win the Prem, but they won the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup. And the Champions League winners was AC Milan over a surprising finalist, Club Bruges. Club Bruges made it all the way to the finals of the Champions League, lads. But ultimately, it was AC Milan that won a Champions League trophy. Now, how did Manchester City do in the championship? Well, they didn't get promoted. It was Fulham and Southampton that are going to be promoted automatically with one of Blackburn, West Brom, Watford, or Sheffield. Now, where's Manchester City? They finished 19th. They had a setback, lads. They almost got relegated. They finished on 47 points. Man City does not come up to the Prem for season six. They stay in the championship. Season six is over, and oh my gosh, we have an insane champion. Leicester City is back. Leicester City are back and winners of the Premier League. <laughs> and Brighton is in second. But the Carabao Cup was won by Liverpool. Liverpool just keeps on piling up trophies, just like Man United. And Brighton. Brighton finished second. <laughs> they, they finished second in the Premier League, and they finished second in the Carabao Cup finals. They lost to Liverpool. And the FA Cup was won by Newcastle. That's their second FA Cup trophy since Man City doesn't exist. I mean, hey! Newcastle is doing some damage, winning some trophies. The Champions League lads in season six is back to normal because it was PSG versus Real Madrid. Real Madrid lift the Champions League trophy for the first time in six seasons. Surprising that it's the first time they've done it. But hey, there's a first time for everything. Real Madrid win their first Champions League. And it looks like Manchester City still cannot come up to the Prem. They kind of just maxed out in the championship. They're not in the playoff spot. They didn't automatically get promoted. Where are they? They're in 10th. Mid-table Premier League or ch ch championship side, not Premier League side. <laughs> 16, 17, and 13, 65 points. They're not coming up to the Premier League. Let's go to season seven. Season seven is over and it is Liverpool that are Premier League champions once again. That is their third Premier League title in seven seasons since Man City doesn't play in the Premier League. And Liverpool won the Carabao Cup as well with an awesome finalist, Bournemouth. Bournemouth made it to the Carabao Cup finals, but they lost to Liverpool. Liverpool has done the double. Ah, uh, lads, Liverpool did the treble. They won everything in England in season seven. They won the FA Cup as well. And again in the Champions League, we had a different winner. This is seven seasons, seven different winners. Napoli over Real Madrid, 5-4 on penalties. We haven't had a single club win the Champions League more than once. While it looks like after seven seasons, Man City is still staying in the championship. They are not in the automatic promotion. They're not in the playoffs. They they almost got relegated again, but they stayed up by the skin of their teeth <laughs> by one point. Man City, after seven seasons, is not coming back up to the Premier League. Let's go to season eight. Season eight has come to an end, lads, and it is Newcastle United. Newcastle United are the Premier League champions eight seasons without Manchester City, and it is Newcastle that lifts the Premier League title for the first time. The Carabao Cup was won by Manchester United 4-0 over Chelsea, an absolute thrashing. Carabao Cup champions, Man 
Manchester United are back. While the FA Cup was won by Arsenal again over Chelsea. So Chelsea lost the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup. Arsenal are FA Cup champions. And in season number eight, we finally have a club that has won the Champions League before. And it is Barcelona. Barcelona win the Champions League. That is their second in eight years. But Manchester City still can't get out of the championship, lads. Uh, they had this incredible run where they won League Two. They won League One. They went to the championship. And we thought they're going to come back to the Premier League right away and start causing some damage. Well, that hasn't been the case, has it? And this year is not the case either because they finished in eighth, as you can see. 68 points. They couldn't make the playoffs for season nine. They're staying in the championship. Let's go to season nine. Season nine has come to an end and Newcastle won the Premier League back-to-back -back years. Newcastle United are Premier League champions again. That's two Premier League titles in a row for them. And we have a new winner in the Carabao Cup in season number nine. And it is Tottenham. Tottenham beat out Manchester United. This is their first trophy in nine years. Even without Manchester City existing. Tottenham still couldn't win a trophy for nine seasons. But they won the Carabao Cup. And the FA Cup, not only did it have an amazing final. It had an amazing winner. It was West Ham United over Burnley. Burnley in the FA Cup final. West Ham United in the FA Cup final. West Ham United lifts their first trophy. Oh my gosh. While in the Champions League, it was Tottenham. Tottenham did the double. They won the Carabao Cup and they won the Champions League, lads. What? But Manchester United, still after nine seasons, cannot come back up to the Premier League. Where are they? They're not in the top six. They're in 11th. They've become a mediocre championship side. Manchester City is not going to be playing in the Premier League in season 10, though. The final season has come to an end and oh my gosh, it was Newcastle again. They won the Premier League three seasons in in a row, lads. Three seasons in a row, Newcastle United. While the Carabao Cup in season 10 was back with Manchester United over Burnley. Burnley made it to a couple of finals. They couldn't win anything. Manchester United are Carabao Cup winners in season number 10. And the FA Cup was won by Liverpool over Arsenal. Liverpool won the FA Cup once again. And the Champions League was PSG. PSG in season 10, the first time they won it in the entire experiment. And Manchester City in season number 10 still couldn't get promoted back up to the Premier League. They finished in 8th on 69 points, lads. Now, let's go and count up all the trophies and see who won the most. Chelsea won one Premier League title and it was in the first season and that is all they won. They won no FA Cups, no Carabao Cups, and no Champions Leagues. In the 10 seasons, Newcastle United won the FA Cup twice and the Premier League title three times, but it was three times in a row. So that's gotta count for something. Liverpool won the Premier League three times. The FA Cup four times and the Carabao Cup three times for a total of 10 trophies. Manchester United won one Premier League title, one FA Cup title, five Carabao Cups, and one Champions League for a total of eight trophies. While Arsenal in 10 years only won one Premier League title and one FA Cup. We had Aston Villa and West Ham lift the FA Cup and Leicester City became Premier League champions. And then of course we had Tottenham doing the double one year when they won the Carabao Cup and the Champions League in the same season. No one actually dominated the Champions League. We always had a different winner every single season. So let me know down in the comments if your club won anything and how many trophies they won. And who we should do this with next. Maybe we can remove Bayern from the Bundesliga or Real Madrid and Barcelona from La Liga. Stay happy and stay healthy, my friends. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button for me and the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. Yeah. If you're not subscribed yet. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in another video. All right. Peace, 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 peace.